PCOS uh, was an alien term to me. So I wasn't diagnosed at a young age by any specific authority like a doctor. I'm made fully aware of it only of maybe in the last uh, year or two. I didn't have much problem with my first two pregnancy. I took another seven years to get to the fourth one. And to get to Azad, I actually had to really go for some cauterization of the womb. And those are the, I guess, the old fashioned way of how the doctor sees it. And even at that point in time, n nobody tells me that I have PCOS. It's just a procedure that I go through and uh, it's more like a trial and error. You must remember those years that, uh, that I live in or the era that I live in. People are not focused on uh, personal mental issues. So if actually, if I am struggling to get to my target number of children in my life, there's no help, help from anyone or nobody gives an opinion, even the doctors. So you just left alone. I'm a very driven person. So I have specific targets in my life that I want to achieve. And so I think with all these career targets that I put to, to myself to achieve, bearing children is uh, one of the things that I want. I want four children. And so uh, to me, it's a target in life that uh, I need to achieve. So, um, I didn't see me suffering mentally per se. However, my health in general really start to go down the drain. You know, with my first and second pregnancy, I was okay still. But with uh, the third pregnancy, uh, which is the eight years later from the second one, I start to have gestational diabetes. And at that point in time, I was just told that, oh, Datin, you know, uh, you, 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 uh, people have diabetes sometimes when they're pregnant. Uh, it's called gestational diabetes. And then after that, it will go away. And true enough, actually, after, after dinner, the diabetes actually went off for a few years. Uh, but until I get into Azad. When I get to Azad, I begin with uh, diabetes and uh, having the uh, is at uh, much uh, at, uh, as, as a premature baby at eight months because he was really huge at eight months he was born four kilo over so the doctor had to scissor me and take the baby out and after that my diabetes just stay on and that was uh, I was 39 then and it stays on and just gets worse and worse and worse so now I'm on heavy insulin intake every day maybe in my mid 30s i already started to have uh, hypertension uh, my hypertension had began then of course at that point in time i blame it on every other thing you know job pressure and everything else not knowing that actually my body is starting to deteriorate my heart i have three stents in my heart right now heavy medication on heart as well so at this point at 64 years old, I think I have sort of like all the maybe a slew of intended diseases that PCOS people suffer if they don't take care of their health at early age is manifesting in me at this moment. I guess, um, I don't know whether it comes together or not, but my heart start to deteriorate as well. So since then on i have not definitely wasn't on any specific diet uh, and i'm a foodie so i eat everything there is on the table i'm 64 years old my view to life is more towards the end than really the beginning if i can be of assistance in any ways or be able to share the journey with people and reminding the future generation or the younger generation that they have to get this i want to say diagnosed but still i think a lot of uh, doctors in uh, this even in this era is still not fully aware of the situation it will not you will not see the impact or the the, the disease or sickness or the whatever yet but in the 30s it will start it will start if it has if you have the the pregnancy issue because 
then you know you will start to have problem getting pregnant and if you have a weight problem that's where it's going to hit the high the, the, the toughest time uh, after you hit your 30s because i think as you grow older uh, if you don't take care of the things surrounding the issues like the food and the, you know whatever vitamins or whatever that you need to take then the manifestation of the PCOS will get deeper into you and it will start to cause deterioration in your general health. I guess it is important to keep the discipline. It is always good to have people around you following the same discipline and to keep the discipline. Because if you're alone, it's very easy for you to get off course. You know, that's a, that's a quite a, a common, I think a common uh, knowledge among everything, even in terms of fitness, uh, I want to put in religion, and you know, among other things. Everything that requires discipline needs to have support system. This support system will sort of keep yourself, uh, keep each other together in a pack so that they, they, they understand, they share their, 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 their desires, their, their achievements and they, they can plot at each other to, to do better. Uh, if you're alone, uh, you can do this for only so long and then you sort of get, you know, lost, you know, get distracted. I have had occasions where actually I fainted in a meeting room. That's from my high, uh, high blood pressure. I mean, these are the kind of things I, I go through. But um, to me, it's about m moving on. You know, it's not like, oh, now I'm sick, I'm just going to rest. I don't, you know, I don't have the, the luxury of actually uh, feeling like that or, or, or making myself feel, uh, you know, lo loving myself in that manner. So I'm more of the, okay, move on to the next one. My advice based on my personal experience you have to be aware of what's going on in your body on your own first you got to know you got to want to take care of yourself first and then now with the support system you have the support system to help with you with a lot of other information but Despite all this that's going on, I think what's more important is your desire to pull through to all this because it can be very challenging to a lot of people to go through a lot of the tests or more like the uh, effects of the for people who's undergoing this uh, or not undergoing more like naturally inheriting genetically because you know, they will have a lot of challenges in their life and uh, they have to be strong. That's the most important. You need to want to be strong and pulling through to all this because you shouldn't think of this as a disease. It's more of a, a something that, that you have to manage with it yourself, uh, not something that uh, you lose to. More like you have to overcome and do because you can. That's what I understand from uh, from all these uh, research researchers or uh, whatever you guys have been doing is that you can pull through and you can overcome. Except that the challenges are at different uh, levels for different people. So stay strong, ladies. I'm here at 64, four kids. So it can be done by everyone.